when we use a bag valve mask in cardiopulmonary resuscitation, CPR, we are insufflating oxygen-enriched air down into the mouth cavity and also partially into the nose. We are rather hoping that most of this will go into the trachea, but of course this doesn't happen 100%. Some air that we insufflate is bound to go into the esophagus, raising the possibility of gastric distension and of course regurgitation. The great advantage of a laryngeal mask in CPR is that it is as if we have a face mask made small enough to go over the inlet to the trachea. Therefore, anything we insufflate down the tube of the laryngeal mask will preferentially go directly into the trachea and the chest. Plus the fact that the end of the laryngeal mask sits in the opening to the esophagus, partially occluding it. This has the advantage of stopping air entering the esophagus with possible gastric dilatation, but also, because of partial occlusion, helps to stop regurgitation of gastric contents. Resuscitation councils across the world have recommended the laryngeal mask as an alternative to tracheal intubation, where, for example, the act of intubation is impossible or extremely difficult, or where the operator lacks the necessary skill. Resuscitation councils have also recommended the laryngeal mask as an alternative to the bag valve and mask as previously discussed, because it is simply superior. What we're going to do now is to choose, prepare and insert the laryngeal mask airway. To choose it, we assess the patient's weight and compare to the figures on the end of the tube of the laryngeal mask. Now you're going to prepare the laryngeal mask by connecting the large syringe and fully extracting all the air while pressing down with your fingers onto a flat surface. So now what we're going to do is insert the laryngeal mask airway a number of times from a variety of different angles. First, the laryngeal mask is inserted following a palatal insertion technique. Air is inserted until the laryngeal mask moves into position. Now we're going to try inserting with the patient in a different position, this time on the side. The insertion technique is the same, that is the palatal insertion technique, with pressure always up towards the cranium of the patient. From positions like this, it is often useful to attach a catheter mount so that it is unnecessary for the operator to be reaching across the patient. This is another example of an approach with a patient in a sitting position and approached from the front. Again, with the palatal insertion technique and again with the attachment of a catheter mount and a bag valve. Once the laryngeal mask is in position, it is advisable to stabilize it. Hello? Hello? Can you get some help please? 